Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. We are up to day 34 of our 1001 tarot spreads. Today's spread is examining how can we bring the family together. This is for when you're about to have a family gathering and you know that there are different groups amongst the family who are going to disagree on things. So, for example, the in-laws, who always nitpick something. How can we appease them? This is the kind of reading we're looking for. Or it might be, how do I help integrate my spouse's children from a previous marriage? It can be used for any form of, how do I unify my family from being these two separate things into one family again? Or for the first time, as the case may be. That being said, let's get into it. We are once again using the Chromatic Fates tarot deck, and this one wants us to use the entire deck. Card one is your family. Card two is your partner's family, or it might be your side of the family, their side of the family. It might be your kids, their kids. The two groups, group one and group two of the family unit. Card three is how to bring them together. So let's see what is going on with side number one of this equation. So this would be you yourself, whichever grouping of the family you are a part of. As I almost throw the entire deck on the floor. All right. Ooh, the tower. That is a powerful card. Uh, your partner's family or the other side of this equation we have the seven of coins. And then how are we bringing everyone together? The four of wands. Okay, so your family is being represented by the tower or your side of this issue is being represented by the tower which was drawn by Sovereign. Links to the artists and the Chromatic Tarot project will be in the description. This tower is being shown as a tower of clouds. Clouds represent weather. In this case, it's also storm clouds. There is some form of conflict within your portion of the family. Something that is a precursor to a thunderstorm, essentially. Pressure is building and is going to break. It has to break. You have to let the rain fall. Card number two representing the other portion of the family, your spouse or in-laws or whatever the division is between the two, is represented by the Seven of Coins, which was drawn by A.J. Ramsey. Just going off the art, they are heartbroken. They are trying to grow past whatever happened that disassociated their emotions from their core being. Give them the time to let that wound... I was about to say grow. Grow is not the right word. Because you don't want the wound to grow. You want the... You want the experience to fully resolve. Just trying to slap a band-aid over it isn't going to help. It's only going to make things worse. So card number three is the Four of Wands reversed. Yeah. Four of Wands reversed. Which was drawn by uh, Willis, Willow Escape. 
Willow escapee. There's two E's on the end. So upright, this card shows celebration. It shows uh, fire dancers. Being reversed, don't force the issue. Don't try to pretend everyone's happy when they're not. Give them the opportunity to actually experience and feel and process what is happening. I know that is a weird interpretation from a card that's part of the suit of wands, which is normally more intellect-based rather than emotion-based. But it is reversed. Allow people the time to process. Give them a chance to cool down if something happens at the event. That is reading number 34 out of our 1001 Tarot Spirits. If you enjoyed that, have been gaining benefit from this, from seeing the different examples of different ways you can do the readings, different ways you can portion out the deck, leave a like, a comment. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. And until next time. Walk in the light, my friends. Bye.